NASA has found something that could prove the existence of aliens. Hello friends, what is going down? I'm Charlotte, welcome back to IO where we talk about aliens occasionally. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we reply to a few of your comments from previous videos. Alright, so it's pretty much a given, at least statistically, that we are not alone in the universe. Well some recent evidence found by NASA suggests that there is evidence of a subsurface liquid water ocean on Jupiter's moon Europa. And you have the Hubble telescope to thank for that information. A large body of water like an ocean is a breeding ground for life as we know it, at least life forms we are familiar with. It is possible for life forms to pop up in completely different circumstances. Take the 3.5 million year old bacteria that was found locked away in permafrost in Siberia. It is strongly believed that life on earth began in our own oceans. Europa is widely thought to be the universe's best chance at being inhabited by alien life. Probably not intelligent alien life, but still. Look at those weird tracks on the surface of Europa. Don't they look a bit like pathways? Can't you guys picture a weird seal looking an alien skating around on its tummy on those tracks? At least I can, maybe you can't, but I totally can. I have a vivid imagination. So an official NASA spokesperson said this in a statement. Astronomers will present the results from a unique Europa observing campaign that resulted in surprising evidence of activity that may be related to the presence of a subsurface ocean on Europa. Scientists will present this evidence in a broadcast on today, September 26th at 6pm. Some of the scientists on the panel of this broadcast will include Paul Hertz, who's the director of the Astrophysics Division at NASA's headquarters headquarters in Washington, and also Jennifer Wiseman who is the senior Hubble project scientist. The subsurface ocean on Europa is thought to be huge, 10 times as deep as Earth's ocean. It could contain 3 times the volume of all our planet's liquid water, and it's been around for billions of years. Ok so I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of coulds, maybes, and ifs in this video. You want to see the evidence, show me the evidence. Here's why scientists are so convinced. Based on the spacecrafts that have flown past Europa and collected data about the surface and what its makeup is, the math adds up. Another huge indicator is the magnetic field surrounding Europa. The presence of a magnetic field means that there's a liquid hot core of magma. So you guys have heard of the Goldilocks zone, right? It's basically the zone that puts a planet just the right distance from the sun for liquid water to be present on its surface. Not only H2O needs to be present, there also needs to be two other factors for life to pop up. There also needs to be an energy source and also organic matter in the rocks. Mix all of these things together and boom! You've got life. So how is it that a moon that's so far away from our energy source, the sun, can have liquid water? Well because Jupiter is so huge that the gravitational pull actually creates tidal energy on Europa. The water is constantly being pulled by the immense gravity of Jupiter. Tidal energy turns into mechanical energy, which actually creates friction and heat. Long story short, Europa doesn't need the sun's energy to have liquid water on its surface. It makes its own. The tide on Europa could allow it to interact with rocks that contain organic matter. It is it is very likely that Europa has a hot liquid core, based on the data from the magnetic field. So with a hot core comes thermal vents that allow heat to go from the core up to the surface. So yes, a lot of this sounds like a bunch of scientists getting excited about some numbers and making educated guesses. No one has been to Europa or taken radar over there to scan the surface so we can be absolutely certain that the planet has liquid ocean under its crust. In case you're wondering though, NASA is planning on settling this issue once and for all. There are two planned missions. One is called the Jupiter's Icy Moon Mission and the NASA Europa Europa orbiter would both have radar. The icy moon mission won't launch until 2022, and the orbiter just one year before that. And also you have to factor in how long it's going to take to get to Jupiter. For now, or at least for the next few years, all we have is educated guesses based on data collected. But as of now, the evidence to suggest a liquid water ocean on Europa is pretty darn strong. Ok guys, I'm now going to reply to a few of your comments. First comment comes from our ancient skeleton video. Spencer plays games asked, where do y'all get y'all's information? Why Spencer? We make everything up. Just kidding. We find our information in a variety of places. If you're curious about our source articles, they are always posted down below in the description of our videos. The source for this story was space.com. Alright, next comment comes from the same video. Cool Matt said, You are so awesome, Charlotte. Any tips on how to be awesome like you? Hey Matt! Thanks for the nice comment. But Matt and anyone else, you don't need to be like someone else to be awesome. Just be true to yourself and people will be drawn to that. Unless you eat your boogers in public. Generally people think that's pretty weird. Alright, last comment comes from Edwin Cruz. He said, Take that lipstick off, ew. Mm. No. Ok guys, thanks for watching. If you want to connect with me, follow me on Instagram. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in another video.